You can do that one. Uh, I can do that one. Yeah. Thanks. My grandmother's family, she was one of 14 kids. Out of that 14, 10 of them, including my grandmother, had developed Alzheimer's at or near our family's average age of onset, which was 50. My dad, you know, we always kind of watched him a little bit, particularly as the age of 50 came along. When he got tested in Seattle and came back positive, it kind of blew my mind. Like, how, how can this guy who's so smart, you know, be carrying something that he should have been dead from 10 years before? We all thought we dodged it. When I finally was able to make it back to Seattle for my results, I came back positive. So that means now that my daughter has a 50-50 shot. I don't have a whole lot of happy-go-lucky days, but I do my best to be as positive as I can about it because I know that I'm doing everything that I can to deal with this disease. The Diane study is a multinational study researching early onset Alzheimer's. In the case of dominantly inherited Alzheimer's, like we have, it's an actual mutated gene that causes it. It's the first time that they've ever looked at a drug and tried treatment on people before they showed symptoms of Alzheimer's. That's exciting to me. To me, that, that's a reason to hope. What I've seen is great advances in research, and this hasn't been that hopeful until recently. I did not even know what Alzheimer's was when I found out that my dad had it. Being that I was really young, it kind of took over my life. It kind of was my life. He was driving me to school one morning and he looked outside and he was like, oh, it's really froggy outside. And I was like, oh, you mean, like, what are you talking about? And he said, it's really froggy. And he was confusing froggy and foggy. A lot of kids just think it's a forgetting disease and you know, it's when old people forget things. And in my view and in my life, that's not what it is at all. It's so much worse. Coming with the deterioration of his brain and his forgetting of day-to-day -day things, he forgot what he looked like. So when he would look in the mirror, he would get defensive and be, think that there is somebody, a man, who was tall and strong, because he was, was in his home. And he would get angry and he would get upset and he would be confused because there was this guy in his house and he didn't know how he got there and he couldn't get him to leave. My dad was 49 when he passed away. Being a teenager, <laughs> Nobody really knows much about the disease. Nobody really understands it. It's a, it has a lot of stigma to it. When I started getting involved in the walk to end Alzheimer's, it was a really big way for me to reach out to my friends and to tell my story. I think I put every straw of my being in it. I, like every, fi every fiber of me was dedicated to that, that last summer. One person at a time, we can really build up and we can make a change and we can make a difference and we can raise awareness to the point of raising funds and then maybe possibly finding a cure. And I think that that's what gives me hope. Thanks so much for being my daddy. So I represent the 24th Legislative District, the oldest district in the state. Dealing with Alzheimer's issues is a big part of uh, the constituencies I represent. So getting a plan and getting some processes in place to help families meet this challenge is important work. Y la gente latina ahora está desarrollando más Alzheimer y demencia. You find some support in, within the community. You don't feel alone. Migrating is difficult. It's, it's very difficult. And if you develop a disease like Alzheimer or dementia, it's extremely hard because you don't want to tell anybody. It is very important if we help one person who take care of some member of the family it's like uh, we support the full family. So there is a hope there. Mm -hmm. 
but you need to keep passing the board. Porque esta cifra When I first joined the board several years ago, we were very Seattle-centric. Today, we've gone north into Snohomish County, south into Pierce County. We're over on the peninsula and in eastern Washington, and it all takes money in order to expand our, our footprint. Hopefully, at some point, she's going to be able to sit back and go, man, my dad, my family, we got it done. Awesome. My love for you goes on and on. You're the doggone greatest dad. <laughs> I hope he'd be proud. I don't know what he would say to me, but I do it all for him, so I hope he'd be proud.